All right, welcome back to the Nice Fast channel, guys. It is time for another review. And as you can see, this is the Rough Rider Apta series. Uh, I bought this one, and this is the Knives Fast affiliation knife uh, for this month from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We'll talk about, more about that later. But this is the Knives Fast channel, so we're going to say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man Log and TV. And if you're not subscribed, please check it out and let's get started. Now, the Apta series is a budget friendly modern take on a traditional pattern uh, from our friends at Rough Rider, um, which is an, uh, kind of an in house brand for SMKW. This is the RR Smoky Mountain Knife Works, that is RR2285. Now, uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, you guys know I'm an affiliate with them. And um, you know, it is really, really cool. There we go. I wanted to get one of their stickers. Uh, to be affiliated with them. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Now, this uh, is the Blue Micarta uh, Warncliffe version of the Apta. Now, right off the bat, guys, this just has a different feel to it than some of the other Rough Rider knives. Uh, we'll talk about a few things here, but if you just listen to it and look at that gorgeous blade, uh, you'll see why most people have been pretty excited about these. You do have a long pull uh, on the right side. You have the RR2285 made in China. Hello, Scarlett. Uh, and uh, really, really cool little Warncliffe with the nice, nice swedge going on there. Now, you do have my card. So right off the bat, you see a couple of things. Number one, there's a, a quite a gap right there between the bolster uh, and uh, between the bolster and the micarta, and the micarta stands a little proud. There's also a little gapping right there on the micarta. Um, yeah, and uh, over here, uh, there was a little discoloration uh, when it got here on uh, the micarta. Uh, not a huge deal, just, you know, I don't know if that's oil or what it is. Now, you also see uh, there's a little nick right there. And then this is in the closed position. You can see we have a pretty significant gap that you can catch your um, your finger on there. Can you see that? Let's see. Yep. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely it's something I call these things out in a review. There's some gapping all the way along there. You can see you can grab that. Um, but it works phenomenally well. I mean, it is uh, very snappy, and you can see mostly flush in the open and closed position, not flush in the, the half stop position. Uh, good pincher, very, very nicely done. Uh, this is a, I'm pretty sure there's a flat grind. We'll look at, we'll look at the computer here in a second and make sure. Uh, it is quite the little cutter. Um, of course, I'm not prepared again and I don't have, here we go. Yes, I do. A piece of cardboard to cut. But I mean, the effort here is, I mean, it's pretty much non-existent. It's its just easy peasy to cut with this thing. Uh, this is VG10 steel, and it has a really nice satin finish until I ruined it with the uh, cardboard there. So let's clean this guy up so you can see a nice pretty knife. Oh, man, I'm not doing a good job. I'm using my Devo cloth here. Got it. Getting it clean. All right, I think we got it. So, uh, well, one side we did, the other side we didn't. But whatever, close enough. So there you go. Really nice, very sharp, uh, nice thin edge. Very impressive. Again, uh, this is this knife, guys, is $26.99 at SMKW. Uh, make sure you use my uh, link down in the description. It helps the channel uh, get some money back. And I give get stuff into review and give away on the channel. You do have a lanyard hole there. It's in the, my uh, link is in the description for you. Uh, listen to the walk and talk. Very, very nicely done. Uh, I enjoy this a lot. Now, uh, one of the things that I need to mention about the um, Aptus series is it comes with a tool where you can take the pivot out and change the blade. Now, there are, I think, three different blade shapes. There's this uh, Warncliffe. Uh, there's sort of a, I, I don't even know what you would call that. What do they call it? Let's see. It's, uh, you, you do have a, um, well, I thought it was three different blade shapes. Yeah, so you have a, a, a spear point. 
Yep, that is a, a spear point. And you have uh, the worn cliff. And then you have kind of a, a sheep's foot with a kind of a chisel grind on it. I guess that's what I would call it. Uh, it's a really interesting blade shape. Now, this particular one, uh, and by the way, you can swap those blades. So if you get two or three, you can swap them around and get the right blade on the right handle material. There's a chisel-shaped one as well, by the way, I should say. Um, so that is really cool. Now, um, this one's $26.99. And again, it is this blue micarta. Very cool. And um, it is a uh, 0.10 inch blade thickness. The overall length is 6.5. It is ambidextrous, guys, by the way. Uh, blade length is 2.75, closed 3.75. And uh, did they tell us how much it weighs? Three ounces. So very, very cool. Again, VG10 steel. Now let's do a couple of comparisons, different ones than we usually do uh, just for fun. So you got that guy. Now here is the Rough Rider Reserve. Uh, I'm trying to remember what number this is. 17, which is the Barlow. Now you can see the Barlow um, is significantly smaller than the Apta there. Uh, more height than length, really. And then here is the Rough Rider Denim Micarta Work Knife. Now really, really cool comparison there because you got kind of a similar blade except the Apta is taller. Uh, really cool. So that is, uh, your comparisons and everything. So, uh, guys, this is a pretty slick, uh, knife. I am, um, pretty impressed with it for sure. By the way, if you've not seen my review on this, go check it out. I really enjoy this one. Uh, the micarta is nice. This is, uh, one of my favorite Rough Riders for sure. Uh, a little less snappy than some, uh, but not bad, not bad at all. Um, so there you go. That is, uh, those are our comparison knives. Now back to the APTA. Now these are available. All the styles are available over at SMKW. Now, what are we going to do? Uh, the review is done, but it is time to give this knife away. Now I don't, uh, really publicize these. I don't, uh, make a big deal out of it. Uh, as a matter of fact, as you saw, I, I didn't say anything about giveaway, uh, we're just going to do this at the end of the review. So if you made it this far, you're about to find out that there's a giveaway. Um, and uh, that's what I do with the affiliation knives for SMKW. Um, for the other two affiliations I have, which are Blue Creek Knives and uh, uh, Traditional Pocket Knives, we're going to give those away on the live streams. But for SMKW, we give those away as part of the review. So uh, what do you have to do, guys? Again, I need it to be a U.S. mailing address. I don't, I'm not mailing outside the U.S. And I need you to be over 18 or with a parent's permission. And basically what you need to do is hit that thumbs up and leave a comment. And your comment is your entry. And we will uh, let this run for about a week. And then we will draw a winner for this little beauty. So there you go. There's your review and your giveaway. And uh, that's all we got. So thank you ever so much uh, for your support, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you have an APTA series knife? Which one did you get? What do you think of it? Um, and uh, let me know down in the comments and give me a thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.